Hey guys, it's JBB. It is Monday and it felt like Sunday all day. It's so weird. Um, hope you all had a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, I just got, I was working on music, which is great. Um, but then I ended up just doing so much meal preparation for the week. Making food for Bob for the next week or so. It's chicken and zucchini. <laughs> He eats better than I do. A lot of greens, kale, uh, celery and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's a big pot, so check that out. It's a pretty big pot and he's like, Oh, mommy, I like it, I like it. <laughs> you already ate today though. That's for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, okay? And I'm boiling potatoes for myself. Just trying to do some food preparation for the week so I don't spend so much freaking time cooking. Just like sucked up so much of my time. It was so annoying. And here we are, hours later, food preparation for both. Good for one day. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good for about a week. Tomorrow, my love. Not right now. <laughs> He's like, isn't it already time? Um, I got to wash Bolt because he needed a bath. There's your little baby, nice and clean. He's gonna dry you off. You're done. Yes. Okay. Um, got some food shopping done. I love shopping at Trader Joe's, and this is my little treat for today. I love the trail mix, the vegan trail mix. Um, I'm still not fully vegan, but I'm I'm vegetarian. Um, I gave up eggs. Um, I don't really drink dairy. Very, very rarely do I actually when I order puppuccinos for bald at Starbucks. Um, I, I'm addicted to whipped cream and I have to try the vegan whipped cream and see how that works. So I still cheat, a little, not cheat, but like do like little things here and there that are not fully vegan. Uh, but my goal is to become vegan eventually. Um, but I don't believe in depriving myself either. So. If I once in a while, you know, I would say 80% of the time, if not if not 85% of the time, I'm I'm pretty much vegan. Um, but here and there, I like you know little things like creamer for if I have a coffee at 7-Eleven, I might use the creamer, the hazelnut creamer, um, whipped cream <laughs> once in a while. Um, what's the other one? Yeah, once in a while. Um, the the fish which is very rare it's, it's actually weird because I think even when you go to Chinese places um, you have to be careful because sometimes they use um, even in a vegetarian meal they will still use uh, probably chicken broth or beef broth so it's not that easy I, I think it becomes easier the more you are doing it or if you've been doing it for a long time then you know where to go you know what to order um, what questions to ask. Also, I used to go to um, Popeyes and would get the rice and beans because I thought, ah, I don't eat meat and no one ever told me that there is pork broth in it. I think it's pork broth. And I just found out about it like about a couple months ago. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I would even tell them, like, I don't eat meat, so what do you have, you know, kind of rice and beans. And they're like, okay. So man, I think people should be more educated if they work at, at places like that where if somebody walks in and asks those questions, they should know that, you know. But I also, you know, you have to educate yourself um, and go on Google and find out. So yeah, went food shopping, had a pretty good day. I'm going to do a song for my patrons. Um, and then... I will be busy all week doing some library music. I have to do that. Um, but I have so many things coming up this month, actually. Uh, I want to start my own fashion line, which I don't think I've ever talked really about it. I've been wanting to do this for like the past 15 years. Um, when I first started Otto's Daughter, I would always make my own outfits for the shows. And, um, you know, I even then I did think of doing my fashion line. I was just doing my own outfits. And then few years later, I think when I moved to LA, like in 2004 or 2005, I actually had someone do some samples for me for my clothes. Um, but I always got busy because I always put music first. So my goal, my very ambitious goal is um, to, to release a few pieces um, 
in June. And when I say few pieces, we're talking about probably two pieces. Um, so please hold me accountable. <laughs> I, I have so many things I want to do. I've been putting it on the back burner for so long that it's time for me to make it happen. Um, so I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to start your brand, how to, you know, what steps to take and, and what not to do. So I, I, I'm learning a lot, which is awesome. And of course, um, I want to keep doing the music, obviously. Um, and I mean, combining fashion and music, what better way is there, right? So I'm really excited about that and I will tell you more about it um, another time. It's, and show you even some samples that I actually already made, um, some from the past and then some recent ones. So yeah, that's my life at the moment. I'm um, gonna stop eating those cookies because I'm so freaking full and I they, they're, they're very addictive I could eat the whole thing like okay, maybe not the whole thing, but how many are in there? I don't know like I could eat half of that <laughs> But I'm gonna stop now because I still have to do my yoga um, So I hope you're having a great week and I'll talk to you very soon Bye